killing Reagan. Tell me why, um, why Reagan now? I mean, this is, a, this is a figure who people still have very vividly in their minds. Um, why was it important for you to, to, take, uh, to take on this task, in particular, Reagan? Katie Couric told me today that uh, in the last debate, the Republican candidates mentioned the name Ronald Reagan 46 times. <laughs> 46 times! So we hit this right. Ronald Reagan was a fascinating, compelling, successful American president. Mm -hmm. And that's what people are looking for today in 2015. The more you know about Ronald Reagan, the more you can compare him to the people running for office today. So we wrote a book, Killing Reagan, that lays out the man, who he really was, strips away the mythology. This is not a kiss butt book. This is, here's the good stuff, here's the bad stuff. I mean, you got some flack, though, for the, the, the Reagan as a man. I, I think I've even heard you say you presented him in this book as a, a man, not a god. Was that difficult for you to do? Well, that's what happened with killing Jesus. They got mad at me because I didn't get into the resurrection and him walking across the lake. I mean, we didn't get into that. We, we wrote about Jesus as a man. I'm writing about Ronald Reagan as a man. Mm. Now, we get into his presidency, and I happen to think that he was one of the best presidents ever in this country. But... I wanted people to know who he really was, you know, and we're all sinners. We're all faulty. Every human being is. So in order to be an honest and write an honest book, Martin Dugard and I had to say, you know, Reagan didn't do so well. You know, here's what Nancy did that was kind of scary. And but in the in the whole aggregate of the book, after he was shot, you see this tremendous comeback by this man and the courage that he had. He was hurting and the American people didn't know he was hurting. They thought he was all better, but he wasn't. And that's the drama of the book. And so there was a, uh, I've heard even that there was a particular story, of almost like a meeting of the minds to see, you know, what would be the outcome or would he be fit as presidency? And I've heard you even say maybe that was a, kind of the turning moment where you discovered this is the next book, this is the story. Is that correct? We were researching Ronald Reagan and we came across uh, an investigation done by a man named James Cannon, who was a friend of Reagan's. And, and, and the investigation was undertaken because at that time in history, in his second term, he was having a hard time. Mm. There were times when Ronald Reagan didn't come down from a residence, he watched soap operas all day. Now, you and you say soap operas. We were talking about... I mean, soap operas on TV. <laughs> and his guys who loved him were worried about him. Yeah. So they investigated how much effectiveness does he have left. And if he had failed that investigation, they would have removed him. And Bush the Elder, the vice president at the time, would have been president. Mm. And it came that close. And that is the most dramatic part of killing Reagan. We describe it. It happened. There's no anonymous sources. Everybody's name is on it. And when I read that, my head snapped back. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I'm in the business. Yeah. And so who at that point you, would you say is, is kind of making the, the decisions? Who's running it at that point? Would you say it's, that's Nancy? No. Baker was in charge. And, uh, and he had, uh, you know... Reagan's advisors in the White House, his mm. counsel and, and all those people, they were the ones in the meeting with the president. And he had no idea he was being evaluated. Ronald Reagan had no idea he was being evaluated. And they were looking and asking him questions, and, and they came to the conclusion that he still had it because when he came down in that meeting, he was in total command. And they were so relieved because they loved Reagan. Mm. Reagan was a good guy. Unlike some of our presidents, he was a good guy. And, and his people were loyal to him. But there were some problems in that White House, and we write about them. And so you talk about some of the, the people who were, who were close to him. Were you able to, to interview or talk to them about uh, what this time in his life was like, what experiencing him in this time was like? Well, my boss, Roger Ailes at the Fox News Channel, one of those people. Yeah. All right? And I obviously interviewed him. And uh, Roger Ailes is the most honest guy on earth. And he told me what was going on. And then when I finished the book, I let him read it. And I said, look, if I made any mistakes here... Tell me. Yeah. He goes, you got him. Really? Yeah. And, and, and that, to me, meant everything. Yeah. And so we believe that we have in this book a true, honest picture of Ronald Reagan. And if you care about America and you think Ronald Reagan is a great president, even if you don't, you should read it. Yeah. And make up your own mind. Now, we saw Rob Lowe pretty much kill it as, as Kennedy. Uh, and killing Kennedy, and now we, I hear that there's also it's been optioned already uh, for Nat Geo. Right. Who do you see playing Reagan? Who can you see handling that role? Well, we we did sign a movie deal with uh, National Geographic, and they asked me, and I said John Hamm. Ah, I think Hamm could really nail it. Yeah, 
It's a big role. It's a tough role. It's a tough role. Right? Because there's a lot of things going on there. Mm -hmm. um, we saw it in his early Hollywood days when Reagan was a movie star. And we go all the way up through, he came this close to dying. And then he makes this comeback, even though he's in a lot of pain. But I think Ham could do it. And there are about a half dozen other, I don't want to mention their names. I probably scared Ham <laughs> off. He's probably, uh, you know, I think I'm going to go to France for three years. Um, Please say three years. But we have a, a list of, of actors we think can do it. But it's a tremendous part. Now, what do you think about uh, the First Lady? Again, that's wide open for Nancy. Mm. Uh, Nancy's not as tough to play because Nancy was out there and you knew what Nancy was, you know, you need a good, talented actress. Mm -hmm. But Nancy isn't like Ronald Reagan, who, who was more private. Nancy was out there.